Make sure to hit that follow button on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch.tv, YouTube. We have those instant uploads, as well as being uploaded to VG Bootcamp as well. My name's Aussie. Let's jump into Grand Finals. Solo commentary. We got Sinji fighting against Venia. Deadly Alliance Grand Finals. You know, Wes is smirking somewhere. Pokemon Stadium 2 is going to be their game of choice. Last time these guys played, they were pretty much dominantly on Pokemon Stadium 2. Both feel incredibly comfortable on the stage. They feel incredibly comfortable fighting against each other. And he's going to do a good job just applying a lot of pressure against Sinji's shield with that back air. Okay. He's chilling right now. Now you notice that Sinji's throwing that hydrant onto the ground, trying to full up form of a wall. That's Sinji's entire game plan. He wants to form a wall, prevent Venia from trying to break his defenses, and just keep throwing on projectiles. Now Venia, on the other hand, gonna play a little bit more passive this time around. Wait for his opening to come to him before committing to it. Also, that trampoline was in the way, gonna force out that double jump. Trades positions with the Pac-Man is off stage. Hat forces the roll. Doesn't get too much off of it. Goes for a dash attack instead. If he would have gone for a neutral getup, footstool, he capitalized on that a little bit too high into the air. Gets back onto the ledge. 92% on Venium. Uses the forward air to just send that Hydra right back out. Let's go to the ledge. Double jumps into the back air. Has him off stage. Whiffs the jab, and Venium's going to punish that whiff. Get a lot of counters on the Hydrant. Puts him into a good spot. He's throwing out the up smash because the water pushes him and puts him into a... Did he just kick the pellet? He can capitalize. Gets the grab. Down throw, forward air, baits out the air dodge. Could not get the up smash. You see the drift from Sinji fading away to avoid a certain doom. Full hab, double jumping backwards to avoid potential damage. Nair's right through the key, and because he did, was able to get a confirm on that punished uh, whiff grab. Turns into a kill of Venya. But I think I'm one of the first times he has a stock lead against Sinji in the first stock today. Trampling, trying to mess with his combos, but just keep smashing the A button. Eventually, gonna have to let that finisher come out. Forward smash, optimal punish for Sinji to delete the frog. It's a lot of damage off of the Galaxian ship combos. Think about what Iman wants to do. He's got the uh, Galaxian ship again. Ship being really good for just getting combo damage off of it because it allows for the... It's one of the very few projectiles that can hit the opponent more than once on one throw. Sinji's... Benny is extremely hungry for these neutral airs. He gets a lot of damage off of it. Great combo starter. One of the air, airborne moves he wants to go for. Into a lot of jumps. Trying to de deal some damage to that Hydra and just end up, you know, flying towards the opponent. There we go, just gonna try to escape away. Has the trampoline deleted. Extremely unsafe. Sinji's gonna back off before committing to that third swing of jab. Tries to avoid the hydrant, gets caught by the two frame. Being an active hitbox. Ops recover high. You can, you know, expending his upbeat to get onto that platform to avoid the hydrant. Sinji's coming back. He's got the bell in hand. Really good at catching jumps. Gonna be able to stun the opponent to try to confirm into a back air or a smash attack. Orange instead goes at a very silly speed, catching Venny off guard twice in a row. Wasn't really prepared for that. Venny doesn't really deal with the orange too often. Goes for the down air, knows that he was too high in the air, that wouldn't cause an SD. But also, in case you got a little aggressive, would have caught him. Would have easily confirmed into a four air and got a kill. So I, I commend him for going for such a crazy option. Runs off stage, gets the four air. Not if he get the kill just yet, sitting at 195. Attempting to mess with his recovery with the hydro pump. You know, Sinji's back. Galaxian Ship just opted to just try to throw that downward just in case Sinji wanted to uh, approach a little bit. Uses the active hitbox of that back air. Goes for a second one, gets the kill. Final stocks. Sinji versus Venia. Venia sitting at 55%. Not too much damage. Puts a trampoline into his spot. Just gonna throw out that shuriken instead to delete it instead of coming into a, any sort of physical attacks. Sinji applying a ton of shield pressure with those aerials. And that was a great catch from Benio. He recognized that Sinji wanted to go for the ledge after that up B. Instead of you know, dealing with the landing line from laying down on the ground. Had an after head box there waiting for it. Now the drills from the up airs are starting to commence. Benio has yet to connect those, but I think at this point he's just forcing Sinji to you know, use his double jump. Again, wants to go for the up B to land onto the edge. Benio has an active hitbox waiting his opponent. Good evasion of that ledge attack. Back airs. 
A little bit too close, doesn't get too punished for it though. 76 to 87, Neutral Air doesn't want to commit to the up smash. Wanted to see if he's going to air dodge into him instead. To go for even a bigger punish. Counters the Hydrant. Said it's slowly flying towards him. Catches the ledge roll with the down smash. Now Sinji. Chilling with the bell. Trying to apply pressure. Was hoping that if anyone wanted to get antsy with either let go of shield, jump forward air, or a grab. Runs away from the bell, but now the bell's in Pac-Man's hands. That's why he goes for the neutral air as well. It deflects the bell's effects from being able to stun him. As long as he has an active hitbox out there. Timer's starting to tick, but I don't think it's going to come into fruition, honestly. They're with a pretty high percentage. Just whoever, if, if Sinji lands his belt, that's that's the stock. Or if any lands a neutral air, that could also be a stock. Okay, applying pressure with the neutral airs on the ledge. Throwing out the shurikens. Gets caught by the hydrant. Look out. Getting super roll happy. Sinji might ca you know, catch on to that. Get a little wise. 135%. Now, at this point, Sinji could theoretically just chill back. But if he chills back way too long, gets the dash attack, gets the up air. Venia taking away game one. I thought for a fact that Sinji was going to take that home. Take home the gold. But all Venia needed was one combo confirmed. He landed the dash attack. He got the up air afterwards. And now he is sitting pretty. One game away from resetting the bracket, by the way. Because we're doing best two of three grand finals. Because we don't want to be here until three in the morning. You feel me? Game two. Back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Sinji versus Venio. Now I notice that Sinji likes to do this a lot. He likes to jump off stage, charge the projectile. So it gives him a pretty safe space to not be hindered when he wants to go for the item that he wants to get. One of the, one of the later items, whether it be Galaxian Ship, the Bell, or the Key. And honestly, we don't see the Key too often from Sinji anymore. He likes to use it as like a wild card almost. His most popular items are definitely like the Galaxian Ship or the Bell. Okay, again, the counter on the Hydrant causes Pac-Man himself to go into slow motion. Almost looks like a Witch Timist. Which time ish? Does Hydrant down in the center stage? Man trying to play keep up, rolls away from the bell again. You know, he sees it coming, but Sinji just throws it out, catches him out of jump, uh, jump out of shield immediately, and has a pretty commanding lead already. Already tagging on the damage too with his Galaxian Chip combo. Hold on a second. Starting to overlap him. Mixes up where he's going to land, goes for the uh, double hop off of the trampoline. Yeah, honestly, going for aerials out of shield, one of, the, one of the faster options to go for, which is why you'll see the lot from both these opponents, which is why they're throwing out projectiles or attack hitboxes to catch the jumps. Potential punish, gets the down tilt, and he had the read. Even though he went the down smash, sent the hydrant, hit Sinji. Oh, he is going super deep for these side piece. Makes it back onto the stage. Felt extremely confident that he would. 120% on Sinji. Punishes the grab. Even though the grab is a little better in this game than the previous one. It is still extremely punishable on whiff. Just like all grabs in this game, honestly. Smart setup. Sinji dropping the bell down to cover ledge attack and ledge get up. Baits out the roll. Gets the forward smash. Easiest trap in the book. See him running up, getting the dash attack. Grab, no follow-ups afterwards. My man's going for counters over and over. Gonna shield right underneath that fire hydrant as he chills on that ledge, 18%. And again, he's gonna dot, you know, go off stage, charge his projectile, and I actually didn't even catch which one he has. It's either the bell or the key. It is definitely the bell. Uses the hydrant's water to push the bell into Venia, completely all according to plan. Looking for that second conversion, 164%. Venia is in a rough spot. He's got rage to play with, but not anymore. Sinji just easily gets that grab. Edge of the stage, back throws him. He actually air dodged into the stage because he thought he was going to grab the ship. Re-grab it. Going off super deep because he needs to make go for a power move. Good stuff. Catches the air dodge, goes for the forward smash. Now he's diving back in. Runs in, gets the dash attack, forces out the air dodge. Venia, oh, my god, he, he's just climbing this hill. So tough. 
104%. Needs a back air or forward tilt. Pushes him off stage again. Pretty sure he recharges double jump. If anything, he's going to catch that side B recovery. He might be out of jumps, honestly. He is. That's why Vinny's trying to capitalize. Back throws again, tosses him back off. He has more resources this time around. He tried to air dodge onto the ledge, but he just couldn't quite make it, and he recovered too low. SD. Self-destruct on Senji's part. One stock left to go. Gonna be able to neutral her into that up, up tilt. We still chilling out here. Tries to get this follow-up. Following his roll onto the stage, water shurikens again. Uses the upbeat to escape any sort of approach that Venia's got going. Nice conversion, gets the grab afterwards. Now at this point, Venia looking for these uh, ground space. He wants to control the stage, he wants to dominate. Because because the gigantic lead that Sinji has this entire game is now gone. It disappeared. Venia has so much control right now, he stole the lead from his opponent. Throwing out the melon because it's such a slow moving projectile. Now he's going to try to find his way back down to center stage. Look out for that Galaxian ship. Sinji's trying to think of something. Or just throw it, you know. Try to get that combo out of there. Uses the dash attack to push the Fire Ranger back into his opponent. Galaxian ship in hand. Gets the conversion off of it. And. Dash attack, forward air, baits out the air dodge into an up smash, catches the sour spot, but he's still leading at 101%. Just gonna wait for that hydrant to go away before going for the approach. Gets the dash attack, gets the forward air, resets the bracket, and we are in our final set of the day. Their set count now today only. One to one. So yeah, we got two to three, potentially three more games left in us, guys. We're, we're in here, man. Once again, my name's Osti. I'm here doing some solo casting. My boy Nixie left me. So sad. Sad by the betrayal of my good friend. We're going straight back to PS2. This entire, guys, I'm letting you know right now, this entire set's gonna be on Pokemon Sam 2. They are friends, they love this stage. They will play here, they feel most comfortable, most comfortable here against each other. This is what happens when you're part of the same crew, right? They're both part of Deadly Alliance. They play with each other a lot. They know each other extremely well. So it, like, it's no surprise who will take the set. It just depends on who is playing better at that moment. Because honestly, I think they're at the same skill level. I think they're both like pretty much on par with each other. So this is anyone's tournament. Both previous uh, Xeno champions. I'm pretty sure Venia was the, one, the most recent one compared to Sinji. Dash attack confirms into the back air. Try to get the side B follow-up afterwards. My man's sitting at 92%. Sinji could easily go for a bell conversion at this point. Doesn't want to commit to it just yet. Baits out the air dodge. He is all over this man, baiting up so many air dodges. I don't know if Sinji just feels that, like, Venny is going to approach after him with these aerials or what. Because he is playing mad scary. You see him float up there with the Paxter? Okay, again, down B. He, he, Gets that trigger off of the Hydra. Even though it's not shooting the water just yet, he's able to trigger the counter and causes the pretty much the entire game just to go into slow-mo. You see how slowly since you threw out that projectile. My man was looking like he was stuck in molasses. Good spacing out and great fantastic directional influence coming out from Sinji. Gets back onto the stage at 127%. Man's got Bell. Try to throw it out. Kills him with the counters. Venia takes the first stock of the set. And here in true finals, not just grand finals bracket reset, this is true finals, y'all. Okay, gets the grab. Look out for that bell. A little bit too high in the air, Miss Gadget thought Blinky, or sorry, Inky was gonna be able to catch that up smash. Not enough, gets the forward air, kills him with the bell, two stocks apiece. Just gonna throw out that shuriken just to delete the trampoline. That's exactly what Sinji was waiting for. Did he just cover? his grab because the Galaxian ship went behind him. All according to plan, question mark? There you go, he threw out the ship again, trying to catch any sort of tech roll. It's over a lot of the roll options, but Venny just kind of chilled, lay down on the ground, trying to play safe. Now he's at 77%. Again, using the trampoline to back off a bit. 
Sees him readying the forward air, has his own bell ready to go. It's extremely hard for Venia to try to like dash off stage and get some sort of edge guard against his opponent. Pac-Man's recoveries can be extremely tricky because he has side B and up B in his arsenal, as well as you know double jump, air dodge. So that's why you don't really see Venia go off stage too hard, except for when it like Sinji's really high in the air, when he can afford to and not risk too much. That time the bell's gonna be able to connect, gets the inky up smash, has him close enough to the ground. Now Sinji has himself with a stock lead in game number one. That shield looking mighty weak. Sinji had no choice but to put on the offensive. He would have pushed the R button one more time. There could have been a potential shield poke or shield break. Okay, another down air from midair. Ooh, got the counters against the Hydra. Not going to be able to get too much off of it. Neutral air. Can't seem to find the follow up forward airs. The log instead is dragging on so much damage. About to overlap him in percent. Things are looking bleak for Venia. He needs one good confirm, one down tilt, one neutral air, one dash attack. Something to get, you know, get the juice going. Find some steam in this train. Doing a lot of Z-drops, catches the landing with the dash attack. Can't seem to find this follow-up. Dash attack, down tilt again, not trying to bait out the air dodge that time around. I feel like every single time he gets a little aggressive with those aerial attacks, Sinji has the air dodge at the ready. He can't seem to mix him up with this 50-50. And he got a little overzealous with that down air. Finds himself down in the blast zone. I mean, he had to go for a power play. I I, I understand what happened. He he was down a whole stock, was at high percent. He's like, I need this now or I, I'm not going to win. So he gambled it all. And now he's in his potential final game. Tournament point in Sinji's favor. What a roller coaster of a set we've been having. Pac-Man versus Greninja yet again. This Deadly Alliance Grand Finals, here we go. Back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh! I'm incorrect. Town and City. A little change of pace. Some more calm music, befitting of true finals. Okay, he starts up immediately with the dash attack. Venya's starting to play a little bit more passive this game. I'm, I'm not noticing what he's doing. He's using the platforms of Town and City. Just kind of hopping all over the place. Uses more than just the two simple platforms. And then when the platforms go away, he has Pac-Man without a... Just on the uh, final destination, you know? Might be the change of pace he's been looking for this whole time. Okay, trying to hold shield. He, he attempted to jump out of it as well, but the glassy ship is so hard to deal with because there's three active hitboxes coming your way. First hit of ship, whatever Sinji's throwing out himself, and then the second hit is uh, ship. Now Sinji is using uh, this layout. I don't think is in Venia's favor. This layout allows Sinji to be able to jump on the platforms off stage, set up shop, and charge up his projectiles. And there's not much Venia can really do to try to approach him because he's at an advantage. He can't win because Sinji has the high ground. Nice catch. Every single time Sinji goes for those uppies on the ledge, Venia's going to be able to cover that with a forward smash. Takes away first stock going to Venia's Greninja. Venia setting up shop behind the Hydrant, charging up the projectile. As his working grab this time around, Venia's going to be able to jump, double jump away from any sort of follow-up that Sinji was thinking about going for. Nice call out, throws out the Hydrant. I'm gonna get up at the worst time possible getting caught by the Hydrant again. Apple, could be able to do it. The thing about the Apple is it's deceiving, right? It's a pretty slow moving projectile, but it bounces a couple times and has a ton of knockback. Has the potential to kill, just like it did. A lot of mess going on here. You'll just notice that Venya can is allowed to spam counter in this matchup because of the Hydrant. Another counter. Gonna fall right down onto the stage. Trying to get this dash attack. He really wants the combo starter. Sinji just backing away, going for the uppie instead onto the platform behind him. 
Another counter catches him far away because he was in slow-mo again. A lot faster paced uh, matches we were seeing in the, compared to the first set that we saw in Winner's Finals. I think it's, it's honestly due in part to Venny just playing a lot more aggressive this time around. As him offstage, tries to splash him with the splashums. Oh my god, that was a different smash attack. If that was potentially up smash or down smash, if he would have held it for that long, he would have caught Sinji. But now, he's on his potential final stock, but so is Sinji. Venya one stock away from taking this to the final game of the tournament. Can he do it? Can he put one more point on the board and maybe even another one that would take home the gold? Sinji back and away. Again, using that up to just try to escape whatever follow-ups Benny wants to go for. Bit of aggression. Just goes for a second up smash just in case Sinji wants to air dodge right back in. Depending on how scared or panicky he's playing. And throwing the shurikens, forcing Sinji to make a move. Try to avoid the Galaxian ship, but instead gets the, all the combo damage, rolls right into the grab. Sinji has a lot of control. 89% on Benny up. Charge up the projectile, opts to go for the orange. Charges up a little bit more. Bell, if he lands this, it's over. Oh, he whiffs it. A little bit too far away. Catches the blinky on the hydrant instead. Benny is still alive. Counter, uses it. Oh my god, try to follow up with a forward air instead. Sinji knew exactly what was going on. Double jumps to escape harm. Has the bell. Puts it right back into the stock. Gotta be careful, jump away from it. He was airborne, caught out of jumps, connects the bell, lands Inky, and takes home Xeno 145. Sinji's Pac-Man is your champion. Look at that beautiful play. I mean, that was just all complete setup. The second Venia lost his double jump, Venia had, Sinji had the game. Because the only thing he could have done was go for a neutral air dodge into the stage, but even then he might have gotten caught by the bell. So, hey, that's the that's, uh, Xeno 145, guys. Sinji taking away first place with Pac-Man. Coming back in. I think, oh, he's, not, he has not won a Xeno since the first one, I'm pretty sure, for Ultimate. That is correct. Yeah, so 